Welcome to the channel, it's the girl Danana and in this week's video I'll be doing a little DIY project with my husband so sorry for looking a mess but Ricky say he wants to do it today so I'm like let me just go ahead and grab the camera and show you guys a little before so at the moment this is what our bathroom is looking like so we just want to get rid of those um, older bits right there and all of this storage storage base the cabin is like basically and then this I want to remove I want him to remove all of this and then insert a nice little cabinet so I can just have a nice glass bit coming all the way down so this is going to remain the same ain't doing much to that bit it's just this bit we're going to change so hopefully I can show you guys like him removing on that and also installing a new one so if that's something you're into go ahead and click subscribe like and just keep on watching so here my husband is just removing the previous cabinet and guys were we in for a surprise because at first we were thinking i always oh, just one complete unit but that wasn't the case it seems as though when the builders were doing this flat they built the cabinet individually so everything is built onto the wall so it was a bit of a hassle but there was no turning back at this point so we just had to get it done So the shelf you know, being that sits on top of the shelf, it mm -hmm. sits on top of the ply. Yeah. And the shelf gone inside that. So what we have to do now, for the user saw, they'll cut this right in two and so you can smash it. Cable. I guess I'll see if it's connected to that bit. this main one. Okay. That means I'm going to put the down light on the next unit. Mm -hmm. I click on the main one saying that the down light is supposed to come on at the same time. Okay. But I got to take this one first. We want it on all the time because not every time it's needed. But if it's, if it's connected to the main, mm -hmm. when you switch on the main, what I'm saying the down light when it comes on. Yeah, but, but don't let the down light go on at the, at the bottom. Yeah, but you can't say like how it is still before like you turn it on when you want to. You don't like Okay. Yeah. Let us look about that. That's because it's a separate switch. Oh. But we never know one that anyway. Alright, yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. Alright, this section done. So where It's not there? No. Feel oh. in there, feel in there pockets. Where no, is it? You see it? Yeah. Where? It's on the floor. Which part, Ricky? Look, see it's in the corner there. Oh, can I reach it? Oh, uh, oh, let me try. Oi! Hey, let me use my foot. Alright, so let's measure. So, the unit that goes here, that's already built, mm -hmm. is 660. Yeah. So, let's see if we have 660. And we have 660, which is here. Yeah. Which but then at the very, bottom. No, no, this is serious. serious. This is very, very tight. Tight, tight, tight measurement. You see, it's 660. So, if we measure to the back as well, 
is 660 which is tight maybe we can get away way with it that is something when you're making a unit you need to take the front measurement mm -hmm. I need to take the measurement at the back okay. in the middle you take one at the top as well right see you see the top much bigger yeah it's 667 so in some case that the way people goes wrong yeah they measure it they measure it down so they get 667 but you have to so measure the top they, 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 they they it, well. I'm saying it's but you have to take the measurement all over so the front part of this one up at the top here is 665 so it's much a little bigger so this is the measurement that we have to go far yeah 660 so we just get away what I'm saying to with the unit okay so let's see when put it in together if it goes wrong get up but let's clean oh up my goodness, may I have work for those? <laughs> Take out this stuff. Oh my goodness. So, as you can see what I'm saying, this is the board, so you go, they put in the board first, Yeah. and then they tie it after. Oh my goodness. So, we have to do like So what, they don't think, they don't think nobody want customizing or afterwards, like you're supposed to stick with this forever, ever. When the building company are putting all these units for these 16 flat what I'm saying, they don't take that into consideration. They just take into consideration, the work they got to do, and the then that's The easiest way for them to do. Yeah. <laughs> So most likely this process is going to be like this process, I'm going to cut this ones in two. That's why sometimes people can be bad with the bathroom, yeah? Because sometimes we can do a great damage. <laughs> you see now I take out these ones? Yeah. So it costs me now to replace this tile because you have this cut here, I'm saying to you. Yeah. And oh. This tile on the left hand side one. So I'm going to measure what I'm saying to you how far down. But they don't I'm going to say but I can't get away with it. So if the unit is a meter. Yeah. So if the unit come there, one cent, cover it a bit. Cover it one cent, we can still fill these ones Aww. with some plaster. So guys, I was telling them like before I mentioned this bit to him, I was telling them like, oh, I want to do paneling because I, I keep seeing paneling like on Instagram and stuff like that. Like if you guys don't know, go on Google or just hashtag paneling on. It's paneling, right, Ricky? Yeah, paneling about your bedroom. Yeah. So saying like, oh, I want to have that like a feature wall with the paneling and all of that just behind the 
bed but it's like not too much work that's how, like me cause unnecessary damage to the apartment and all that we get the apartment in good condition so like why change this why change that so again I wanted this with the full glass and all of that and the low key I want to take out the old radiator you can you guys can see the radiator there it's just behind the ladder so I want to take out the radiator and I put in one of those like nice little heated towel racks what one step at a time guy one step at a time <laughs> why you can't you can't you can't work Ricky yeah. it looks like can't work but you can't work on your terms once you do anything so you just don't just like that me think so everything easy and you just stick a finger and just finish <laughs> There's so much work involved. Look, now it's winter. Yeah, look how outside very cold. I'm inside the barge one thing with this liquor work, taking out this cupboard. And yes, so it's and I am sweating. I am dying. I'm not sweating, I'm dying. Hey. Mm -hmm. But you're doing good so far, Mr. Brown. Not going too bad. Yeah, I'm always a look good. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, madam. You cleaning apart one cent here, over and one cent here. I know, my section that. One cent here, I hear drop that. Yeah. So, Mr. Brown did go ahead and cut these boards. So he has access to a workshop, so that's very convenient. So also, he's just going to assemble the unit together. So that should be going up today given that everything dries in time. Is that right, Ricky? Yeah. And as you can see, we'll be doing this indoors because outside is too cold and then to be going back and forth around the garden, like that's way too much. So yeah. <laughs> so as you can see now, like we just putting it together. So I must tell you guys like majority of the furniture is in this house like in this flat is made by ricky like everything is customized so that's good girls it's good when you have like a husband like is very very much versatile like in full of use bad i can tell you like i don't have to be worrying about going to ikea or like shopping for this or shopping for certain things like anything i want i can just say like oh ricky i like how this look or i like how that look and it can just put it together for me so very very useful so this one especially like it's good that he's able to make it because the measurement of the cabinet like when we do measures the measurement compared to like going B and Q and such like it wouldn't fit perfect perfect into that slot some of them like are a bit broader yeah the weight is a bit too much or they come up a bit smaller And what kind of wood this, Ricky? This wood is Badalino. Badalino? Yeah. Uh-oh. So Italian or something like that. <laughs> I should think so. I think these are Italian companies in London. Okay. So you can see it's the same wood I'm saying to use for the kitchen as well. Oh, the kitchen cupboards? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What kind of wood is this one? This is a 6 mil melamine 
waterproof and this. Okay. So where can you get this one? Like B and Q. Where can you get it? You can get it in B and Q. But if you go in B and Q, you're gonna get it in chipboard. Oh. But this one I'm saying to you, uh, six mil. Made of mine. Waterproof and this. Okay. So no water can really penetrate, penetrate what I'm saying to this one. So you wipe in, wipe in with water. Yeah. It doesn't go really through the material. Okay. Oh, so this would be like more ideal for like bathroom or kitchen? Yeah, bathroom and kitchen units. Okay. to show you guys us putting it up because <laughs> that was a struggle but yeah everything's assembled together and it's looking quite nice um so as Ricky mentioned in the previous bit he did make some biscuits all and he's just going to use these to order shelves instead of like using shelf what do you call it Ricky? Shelf this. Yeah, so he's going to use these biscuits instead of using the shelf pegs. So, what's there for us to do now is just put the shelves up and then put the glass onto the cabinet front. So what kind of inches is that? Lay an inch. Because the door fits on the outside. Lay an inch or conceal inches because you don't the inches behind the door that means you don't see the inches don't have at all. Okay. So we're not gonna do no angles, so we're just gonna do a little slot for the fingers. Spot. Yeah. On both doors. Here you guys can see Ricky applying an ample amount of silicone onto the door front. With this, you just want to use just enough and not overdo it because by applying too much silicone, it can result in the surface being bulky and you don't want that. You want it to lie as flat as possible. And applying too little risks it like not sticking, just dropping off, like mash up your mirror. Like, no, 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 we don't want that. So just try and eyeball the whole situation and use what's needed.
So with the second door, just go ahead and repeat the same process as you did with the first door and once that's all complete, leave it overnight so it can properly dry or as long as possible, it's just up to you how much time do you have. Because baby, if you hang that door before the silicone is dry like, the mirror will be like shattered all over and we don't want that like, let's hustle, let's clean it up, like just wait, have some patience. That's one side on. It look good, okay. It looks good. So yeah, guys, this is the finished look. Everything is looking modern, sleek, and a bit more tidy to me. I don't know why, but it's looking great. So Ricky did his thing, did a good job. So all the thing left is for him to get some tin set. I think he said. So he needs to get some white tin set. Just put in the crack there and probably paint this bit on the inside there so he said he has to shave it off a bit and do some painting but at the moment it can go on it can work so yeah go to full of shelf now can put up all our little accoutrements and little bits and pieces so yep that's the final look so you guys, that's the cabinet all complete. It's looking quite nice in my opinion. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it. And if you are interested in seeing more DIY projects, because Ricky always busy, he's always getting up to stuff like that. He's a builder. <laughs> he can make cabinets and all of that, so he loves doing like a little fixing up here and there in the house. So if you guys want to, I feel like I'm a bit echoey. Yeah, so if you guys want to see more videos like that, just comment down below as well and let us know. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.